chapter number 12 the verse is 29 only 29 he says for our God, God is a consuming fire somebody say our God our God or talk to me say our God our God is who is a consuming fire who is our God a consuming fire no who is our God a consuming fire now once you understand this now everything I will preach will make sense once you miss to understand this, everything I will say will not make sense. Why will I do what I'm going to do? Because the God we serve is the same God to whom when fire appears, he consumes it. Last time I preached on fire prayers. Today I will show you why those fire prayers are important. Are we together now? For our God is who are consuming fire. So God is an entity that when a strange fire appears, it consumes that fire. Does it make sense now? And that's why when Nebuchadnezzar threatened Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and he told them, sir, you better change your mind. The fire I'm talking about is not an ordinary fire. It's a strange fire that has been rekindled seven times. And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego without looking down the Bible said they looked at the king face to face with all the audacity and told him, sir, with all due respect, you need to know that if our God doesn't save us from your fire, we know he has power to. But if he choose not to save us from your fire, one thing you need to know, we will not bow. We know one side of our God that he is a consuming fire. So you know he can save us, but even if he doesn't, we are not going to bow. If you don't understand this dimension of God, fire of marriage can make you backslide. Fire of joblessness can make you backslide. Fire of gossip can make you backslide. Fire of people talking evil against you can make you backslide. Fire of joblessness and poverty can make you what? Backslide. But one thing I know, that is definite in my heart, that my tomorrow must be greater than today. For our God is what? I can't hear you. For our God is what? Do you know there is a fire of bad marriage? Well, let me talk to you now. Where you sit in a marriage, you feel like I should leave this thing. Are you following me here? Have you worked in a place you feel like resigning? Are you, are we, uh, uh, let me talk to some real people here. Uh, have you worked in a place you feel like resigning? You, you feel like I'm in a wrong place. I better go and stay home. Do you know why you feel like that? There is a fire in that place. A strange fire. Either somebody has raised against you. Or the devil has raised a particular group of people against you. You can be in a church you feel like leaving. Are you following me here? A, a, a strange fire is causing everything against you. But for our God has power to consume that strange fire. He will consume many evil fire against you. Amen. Luke chapter number 3 verse 16. Very quickly before I go deeper. I have some assignment tonight. Luke chapter 3 the verse is 16. And it says John answered and then John answered and said saying to all uh -huh. I indeed baptize you with water I, John the Baptist, what I do is to baptize you with what? But one mightier than I is coming. Christ is coming after me. To do what? Whose sandal straps I am not worthy to lose. What is he coming to do? He will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. He will baptize you not only with the Holy Ghost, but also with fire. Now somebody say fire. fire. Oh, somebody shout fire. fire. Somebody shout fire. I asked myself the other day, why is Jesus baptizing me with the Holy Ghost and then with fire? In, in Acts chapter 2, the Bible says when the Holy Ghost descended upon them, they saw tongues of what? Fire. Why fire after Holy Spirit? I thought once you have baptized me with the Holy Ghost, I'm a tongue speaking believer. I don't need fire. You can be speaking in tongues, but they are empty tongues. They don't carry fire in the inside. Tongues must be tongues of fire. When you speak in tongues, people can not talk in 
here when you attend kopani tabarahade and dudia apales kopadia amato konde katanda paradia tate ipolatas kopolia tabarahato iananda desko tobaya iandale dose pela kuta atonda tatonda pa irade nada maso iade iade apa papa rato iandale nada dose toliana ipadonda de kola ilende kotonda pa eyandi nada dose to iperete pelito iada da eya eya rata li perede iya iya Thanks a carifier. When we just hear your voice, you are speaking like the voice of the angels. Am I talking here? They can hear your voice, but they cannot tell what you are saying. The other day, a king saw a writing on the wall. And the so many men at the kel of Isaiah it was the language of heaven Oh Jesus help me tonight Sit up for a few minutes A prophet friend of mine watched my service on Friday and he said prophet I checked you are injured in the accident Are you sure you are you are hurt I said when I come on the altar when my friend come upon me I don't know what happens the pain disappears Am I talking here So they are tanks and their tanks of fire because when their tanks your tanks are empty the devil does not fear them but when it is backed by the power you know there are times you cannot pray properly but you can speak in tongues you don't have strength to pray but you just begin to speak in the holy ghost before you know it something will land on you and you have favor and grace again to pray am i talking here Now he say I baptize with water. But the one that is greater than me is not coming in the same dimension. Is coming to do the same with the power of the Holy Ghost and with fire. There is going to be a baptism of the Holy Ghost. And there are people that will testify of the glory of the Lord. I don't know if I spoke to anybody under the sound of my voice. God help me tonight. Something must happen. Chapter number 12 of Luke the verse is 49 so that when i finish if i don't go to scriptures please you understand me are we together here i will tell you something 12 verse 49 is i came to set fire on earth Luke 12 49 i come to set fire on the earth and how i wish it were already kindled now there we go he said i came to set fire somebody say fire. fire say fire the difference between me and the pastor of that church is this understanding or oh, you are not hearing me yes. i understand the language of fire and i will teach you the language of fire somebody say the language of fire language or oh, somebody say language of fire Listen to me when you are a member of this church you are unrogable If you are a daughter and the son of this ministry you are unrogable There is no amount of witchcraft that can succeed to be with your life There is no wizard There is no necromancer There is no palm reader There is no star gazer There is no cultic man There is no ever talking here to restriction of power is i came but to set fire on earth the reason why christianity is not respected because we are soft cool and collected a witch can threaten me like it threatened me and i will have accident and that which will not die ma, ma, unless i'm not robert If anybody know where they stay I pray I gave that man 14 days they will collect him dead my name is robert i don't enter places and bargain i enter places and decree i enter places and declare i enter places and prophesy 
I stand as a prophet of Jehovah by the mandate of the Holy Spirit upon the scriptures and I declare any witchcraft activity against your destiny that power is surrendering in the name of Jesus I said that power must surrender in the name of Jesus sit down a few minutes for our God is what? a consuming fire so there we go don't say that you know what I'm doing I will not baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire my baptism is up to water but there's one that will do it Messiah we are going to pray fire prayers because fire prayers provoke the vengeance part of God fire prayers does what? provoke the vengeance part of God every human being has a particular side that when you provoke you see a person you have never seen before talk to me here every human being existing and we are in the image of who everybody has their part that when you touch they may speak a language you don't know even God has that side it's called the lamb of God and the same God is the lion of the tribe of Judah the same Christ so there is the lion side of God the vengeance part so fire is the vengeance aspect of God so when you want God to release vengeance you provoke the fire aspect of God does it make sense does it make sense now for our God is the consuming fire so when you provoke the vengeance part of him you are provoking the vengeance part the fire part follow me Sometimes when God wants to show up, He will show up through fire. When God wants to show up, He does what? He shows up in fire. In the, in the journey with the Israelites, the Bible says by night, He came as a pillar of fire. It was not a pillar of fire. It was Jehovah Yahweh Himself presenting Himself to defend His people. But because no man can see God, what they would say they see is what? Pillar of fire to provide heat, to provide protection, to provide light and to provide coverage are you following me now? because when wild animals see fire they run away when enemies see fire they run away, the same fire when you see fire there is light when you see fire there is warmth when there you see fire there is destruction so you must keep away when you see fire they say danger zone are you following me now? are you following me now? Have you ever seen a fire sign drawn in blue or yellow or white? All fire signs are drawn in red. Fire. Red. Because it's dangerous. So when God wants to show himself, sometimes he may not show himself to fight. He may show himself even as a lamb of God but in fire. Moses, when God wants to speak to Moses, he caused a bush to burn. But the bush was not consumed. Are we together? He needed Moses' attention. And when he wanted Moses' attention, he allowed fire to burn a bush, but the bush is not consumed. So Moses came closer. What is happening? So sometimes God will allow fire into your business, into your finances, into your relationship, into your marriage to attract your attention. So that when your attention is drawn to him, now he can talk to you. Because many of us, we are so much busy with my husband, my wife, my company, my business, my son, my daughter, you know, my mother, my father. Until your mother, your father is becoming an idol to worship. So God can release more fire so that your attention can be drawn back, not to consume you. Am I communicating here? Am I communicating here? So sometimes God, when he wants to show up, he shows up where? Through fire. So we see the story of the Moses and the burning bush. We see the story of Israel and the pillar of fire. When Nebuchadnezzar threatened the children of Israel, Shadrach and the, and the brothers, and he set fire, Jesus appeared in the fire. And the king said, I see a fourth man. You know, naturally, when you are thrown inside the fire, people should not even be able to see you. You know, the first miracle was for Nebuchadnezzar even to see men walking in fire. In itself was a miracle. Because once you enter fire, you are not able to breathe. If you are not following me here. When you breathe, you breathe what? You are going to fall down. 
you are going to be subconscious. You are going to burn. But for them to walk as if nothing is happening in the first place was a miracle. For them to breathe in fire was a miracle. Even the air was not burnt a miracle. They were walking is a miracle. They were talking in fire is a miracle. Another man joined them in fire, another miracle. Now when he sent them in fire, the consuming fire came inside the fire. He said, as far as I'm, I'm with you here, this one is, cannot do you nothing. It doesn't matter the fire you are already in right now. The consuming fire will enter inside that fire. Hey, 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 hey. I say the consuming fire will enter inside that fire and will quit the strength of that fire and the fire will do you nothing. If people thought that the fire will burn your life, you will come out better and purified. Instead of the fire burning, the fire will purify. They say if you want to see the purity of gold, you expose it to fire. We are like gold in the hand of God. I'm talking to Matthew. We are like gold in the hand of God. But when God wants to make a better of us, he will drop you into a small fire. So that when he gets you out of the fire, you are more purified. You are more better. You are more stronger. You are more valuable. A gold with impurities is not expensive. A gold becomes expensive when all impurities have been removed. You cannot tell the value of a gold until impurities are removed. Sometimes, God has to take you through purification. And somebody will rise in the church and just hate you. They will not like your face. When you talk, you offend them. When you stand, they are, they are grieved. When you sit down, they don't want to see you seated. When you are walking, they say you are proud. When you are standing, they say you behave as if you are tall. Everything about you offend them. So that that fire can get the best out of you. But most of us, when that kind of heat comes, you begin to search for another church online. Prophets in Nairobi. See, I will sit here. And the best of me will come out. I'm standing here to preach because fire did not consume me. I've been taken through fires. He said the Lord took us through fires and through waters. But finally brought us into a wealthy place. No wealthy place you can go before fire and before water. There is no wealthy place. Until there is fire, until there is waters. Are we following what I'm saying? Now the word water signifies what? The storms, the attacks. Until there are attacks in your workplace, in your career, in your health, in your business, in your family, in your marriage, in your ministry, until there are attacks, there's no wealthy place. He said, though, we went through fire and through waters, but the Lord brought us where? Touch your neighbor, tell them, accept to go through it. There is a better you coming out. Now, why fire? We have different types of fire. We have Holy Ghost fire, write it down. And we have the strange fire. So today I'm going to talk about the Holy Ghost fire. The Holy Ghost fire is the fire that came when Elijah prayed at the mountain. When there was a contest with the prophets of Baal. And a fire answered and consumed the stones, consumed the water, consumed the, the, the wood, consumed the sacrifice. And the Bible says, and fire leaked everything. That was the Holy Ghost fire. Are we together here? The Holy Ghost fire is a fire that appeared to Moses in the burning bush. The Holy Ghost fire is a fire that presented itself as a pillar of fire before Israel by night. And the Holy Ghost fire is a fire that appeared in the upper room when disciples received the gift of the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost fire is a fire that will visit your life today to bring change in your family and bring change in your life and bring change in your financial status and bring change in your health and bring change around your life. Are we together here? Strength fire is the fire. Am I too fast? The strength fire is the fire that comes to cause you restless in your business. Restless in your workplace, restless in your relationship, restless in your ministry, restless is the fire that come to interfere. It was the fire that Nebuchadnezzar rekindled seven times. It was not a godly fire. It was a strange fire. It is a fire that can make you leave a relationship then regret later. 
It's a fire that makes you resign with your own hands. And you say, I don't want to work in this company. And then when you begin to struggle with your house rent, you remember that job was giving me stress, but it was paying my bills. It was a strange fire that got you out. When you have left, you regret. But when you are leaving, it will not show you that you regret. Leave, 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 leave. You can get job somewhere. Is this the only place you can work? There are many places in Nairobi you can go and work. Leave. It is a strange fire. Once you leave, your eye clear. You remember your children must go to school. You must eat. Yeah? It is a fire that will tell a woman, pack and leave your husband. Pack and leave your husband. Kuna kwanga na ka spirit ingine kikuingia, unaskumo ufanya kitu mpaka ukisha maliza kufanya yu kitu nataka kufanya ndo unakuata. You know that thing? Ukiwa ukona asira flani, kuna ka mori, unapandwa na mori. Is that the right swahili? Ni is a strange fire. Mpaka unaiza stuko umeslap your husband as a woman. Hey, I just slapped that man on. Are you following me? But before the fire, your hand was somebody shot fire. Your hand was what? Your hand was what? When you hit the map, bah, now your hand now is soft. Then your eye now is clear. You say, I'm going to my village. It is what? Straight fire. It is a fire that will help you to pack your things. Naturally, you are close if you wanted to pack time yakohama. You take two days preparing. Am I saying the truth? But when a strange fire comes upon you, you can pack within 10 minutes. All you are close and you are not forgetting even one. Am I talking here? That one is a strange fire. Am I communicating? Hiyo ndio fire inaingia mwanaume atakupata salary anana na kunywa yote usiku moja. Kesho nakuja home ana pesa ana kitu akona stress ni mgonjwa akona hangover bibi ana kila kitu na anafaa kwenda kazi the whole month alikuwa na hasira a strange fire came on him alafu machi nafunguka alisema by the way what came upon me strange fire touch your neighbor tell them it's a strange fire that came upon you that's it message na inakwambia resign 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 the time you inakwambia resign haikwambii utalipa rent aje Mamako na mtumia ka pesa utamsaidia aje utafanya no I I kuruhusu fikiri you side resign 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 when you finish tendering your resignation letter pa and you get home now you are sleeping the next tomorrow you wake up you are not going to work na imekuata my your eye now clear alafu unaanza kuona reality alafu inakwambia no don't worry you will make it the same god that gave you that job listen if you resigned by god God will give you a job. But if you resign by a strange fire, strange fire will keep you in that house. The kind of fire your landlord will come with it. <laughs> a landlady, landlord, when you are after you strange fire, the way they will deal with you, you will know it was strange fire. Somebody shot fire. Somebody shot fire. Hey, somebody shot fire. This is the fire that if it comes upon you, it can make you disrespect even your biological parents. Or even your spiritual parents. The strange fire. In a quick game, I'm to talk. Tell him. Kwani, who is he? Tell him. Wow, wana mogopa. Wee, who is he mogopa? Tell him. Tell him. Kwani, who is he? Anajifanya hapo. Tell him. Alafu, naandikea prophet. Namambia prophet, me, I don't mind. I don't care. Kwani, who are you? Hey. Me, I'll tell you. If they fear you, me, I'll tell you. Go to hell. <laughs> a man that witches die in his hand. You, you have guts to tell him. You, don't, you are not born well. You are not born well. Whoever born you was not born. You know, they didn't born you well. The woman did not have two breasts. She was having three or four. You are not hearing me again. Are you hearing me again? It is a strange fire that make you to stand before your mother and point her with your left finger. And then tomorrow when curses are dealing with you, you have nothing to do about it. You begin to regret. It was a strange fire. Today God must deliver us from every strange fire in the name of Jesus. Hey, I say it is the Lord that will deliver us today from the strange fire in the name of Jesus. Anything you do bathed by the strange fire, you must regret. You must do what? Block him. Block her. Block him. It's very useless. You don't pick your call. Block him. Yeah, what kind um, what kind of boyfriend is he? and take long before block him, block her, block him, block her. Once you finish blocking, bah! 
the eye clear. The man has said, you block me. No, it was the hand of the devil. <laughs> Lift up your right hand and shout fire. Shout fire. So I said we have the Holy Ghost, fire, and we have strange fire. If fire does not answer, write it down. If fire does not answer, the Holy Ghost fire now, the prophets of Baal in your family will not die. If fire does not answer, Holy Ghost fire, the prophets of Baal in your village, in your mother's house, in your father's house will not die. Elijah did not say, die, you prophets of Baal. No. A fire had to appear first as a sign. Fire does not miss its target. Fire does not miss its target. Fire is focused. Fire persists. Fire penetrates. Fire does not give space to its enemies. Fire is aggressive in nature. The might of us. Am I too fast? You are okay? I'm too fast. Let me take it again. Fire does not miss its target. Fire is focused. Fire persists. Fire penetrates. Fire doesn't give space to its enemies. Are we together to that point? Continue with me. Fire now. Fire is aggressive. Fire is militant in nature. Let me say something before I continue. There is a difference between military and police. Are we together? Police are trained to maintain law and order. Say law and order. Maintain law and order. Are we together? And police are trained to deal with the civilian. Though the police of these days were overtaken at Pesa, back when I forget the original training. Police is not supposed to be arrogant. Are we together now? Ile tabia police ku is not the normal thing. It's not, it's not part of their training. Are we together now? Unless you are becoming, you are trying to re refuse to obey law, then they be, they, be, they can use force. Are we together now? Military are not trained to deal with civilians. They are trained to deal with the enemies. And that's why it doesn't matter. They are... Remember we said our God is consuming fire. Are we together now? Meaning that this side of God which is a consuming fire is what I'm talking about here. It doesn't give up. It is confrontational. Do you know fire is very confrontational? Have you watched a movie of the way firefighters usually fight with fire? It's very confrontational. And even in the process of trying to quench the fire, the fire can deal with you in the process. You know, firefighters can die in the process. Are you aware? With all the way they are dressed, with all the way they are trained, with all the way they are armed, they still can die in the process. Are we together here? Because fire is confrontational. Fire doesn't compromise. Now, there we go. And that's why it says militant in nature. It does not compromise. When fire is released, fire does not say this one is a child. See, huh? Fire does not choose to say this woman is pregnant. Police are we together here? But when we come to fire, when they release military, they shoot even children. Are you aware? Da, 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 anything that have life must do what? Must go down for your head. Now that's where we are going. Hey. Whether 
the witch has ten children or two or one. Eti mungu ana huruma akuna mtoto mmoja akuna kitu kama hiyo. Kwani hakujua kuna mtoto mmoja when is attacking your family? When fire release fire does not compromise. Does it make sense now? Fire is very focused. It doesn't digress. It doesn't digress. One of the characteristics of fire is that fire burns. Fire does what? Fire does what? It is one of the first characteristic. Ukiona mtoto amelia alikuwa karibu na moto. The first thing unamuliza ni nini? Ah, unamuliza aje? Umechomeka. Am I saying the truth? Mtoto alikuwa anacheza karibu na moto, ametoka na lia unamuliza, mami ume, ume, umechomeka. Because one of the things you know with fire is what? Fire burns. It will burn anything negative in your life in the name of Jesus. I say from today it will burn anything negative in your life in the name of Jesus. Nobody jokes with fire. And the symbol of fire is power. Somebody say power. Somebody say power. In other words, fire is powerful. Do you know the power of fire? Do you know fire can bring this whole building down within one day? A building that took these people and engineers and contractor building over months. Fire can bring all this building, good fire. In one day, in 24 hours, the entire thing is done. In a baki iliokuwa, or ilie, what is the right way? Ilie, iliokuwa, eyo. Fire changes shape of something when that thing is burnt. Oh yes. Hata nyumbi kichomeka, ukingia kwa nyumba, utawana roof venye mingia ndani, Semu zingine zinachomeka zinavunjika. Is that true? Ukichoma hata hii speaker, hautaipata hivi. Fire changes color. Put a sofria on fire for a few minutes. What will happen? It will turn to black. And that is how strange fire can also change you. From a very beautiful brown woman to a very dark ugly woman. You begin to look like this. You look like what? People are looking at you, they say, sir, are you correct? Are we together here? Why fire prayers, number one? Why do we need fire prayers? Why fire prayers, number one? When you realize your enemies are turning your bucket into basket, you need to engage fire prayers. Your enemies are turning your bucket into basket. You need fire prayers. Fire prayers. Somebody shout fire prayers. Or oh, somebody shout fire prayers. Number two. When evil forces begin to broadcast your name in a negative way. When evil forces begin to broadcast your name in a negative way. You need to engage what? Fire prayers. When the devil wants to turn your grace to grass, you've been enjoying grace. You realize you're no longer enjoying grace. They are turning your grace into grass. You need to engage some fire prayers. Somebody shout fire prayers. Oh, somebody shout fire. Hey, somebody shout fire. When you realize your grace is turning into grass. When, why fire prayers? You pray fire prayers. When you sense there is a spiritual traffic jam on your path to greatness. There is a spiritual traffic jam to your testimony. Kitu tu ina delay miracle yako. There is a spiritual delay, spiritual traffic jam. The man you wanted to marry, another beautiful woman than you has appeared. You can tell this one is that this one don't pass me off. 
No, we cannot contest. Let me tell you, women, the truth be said. There are ladies, even you can tell this one, I can't match. If you are to pity in terms of beauty contest, am I saying the truth? Am I lying? And even for us men, there are men that are blessed by the grace of God. Either they are too handsome or too rich. You know, when a man is rich, we don't look at the face. We look at what? The pocket. Yesterday, they introduced me to the man who won 250 lotto. The low man. So when I entered the hotel, the FNB manager is my friend. He said, Prophet, let me introduce you to this man. I said, who is he? He said, I, mean, I don't know those things. He said, one who won 250 million. I said, oh, where is he? He said, he said this is our prophet. This is Pastor Robert. <clears throat> Say hi. All of them stood up. With, with, with this 250 million. I don't know, man. It was with some low comedians. I know their face. They are very known. If I knew their name, some of us would know them. But me, I don't know them. I know the face. I don't know their name. Are you following? So when I finished, I was meeting the boss. They saw the boss standing up to say hi to me. It's not the money I have. It's the capacity I have that they were standing up for. You know, you people need to either stand up for you by reason of what you have, physically or spiritually. You physically, you have nothing. Spiritually, you have nothing. God must change your level. Yeah. Ah! When I enter like that, they saw the man saying, meet our prophet. Hey, all of them. I said, no, no, okay. it's okay. You can sit down. Somebody shout power. power. And he said, please, please, just a few minutes. He has a meeting with the boss. The boss is waiting for him. I said, sorry, 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 sir. When I leave that place, when I enter, when they see, they see the boss stand. Say, ah, pastor, you are here. I said, sir, sir, sit down. The guy is rich. His wealth can carry my entire family. We put our wealth, what we have had before, till now, we can't match one man. But what is inside of me, make him stand up. People will bow down for you. I say people will bow down for you. It's not going to take long from today, some of you. People will bow down for you. A time is coming, you will also have a PA. And a PA. And a secretary. Levels are changing in the name of Jesus. Hey, I say your level is changing in the name of Jesus. If once the fire burns evil, now your level can change. When they refuse your visa, what did I tell you? Miracle is your portion. My daughter will write me a, a one paragraph. I will write one reply. Miracle. I know sometimes you look on and say, my papa, I, do you know what I'm addressing? <laughs> you know, sometimes I can reply, I can reply you if you are not spiritual, you get offended. Am I saying the truth? Papa, they have denied my visa. I want to go and I want to remove it. They, have, they, they, they are doing interview. You know, they are saying, they, they, are, they are trying to check my, you know, they are trying now to put me under. I don't know what. I say, miracle is your portion. And I will not talk again. Because one word from the mouth of the Lord, not the mouth of a man. When I speak from the level of a prophet, I don't need to write statements. When I speak from my office as a prophet, from my calling as a prophet, from my capacity as a prophet, I don't need to write statements. One word is enough. I just say it as well. The weight of that statement. I told her, I told my daughter some time back, let me not mention them, that God will give people restless nights until they help you. You remember my words? She gave us a testimony with somebody that somebody she doesn't know came and told her nobody should threaten you. We are behind you. It was a prophecy I gave before. That may, and listen, is that one the one you have seen? There are many you have not seen. Elisha prayed for Gehazi. He said, God open his eyes. Let him see the, the group on our end. That's the prayer I was praying for you when you're going for an interview. She was expecting it in one week. It came in hours. I'm releasing an hours miracle dimension. Hours miracle dimension. What you have waited for for long. May it happen in the middle in hours. In the in hours, in hours, in hours, in hours, the money land in your account in hours, travel in hours, get your visa in hours, get a breakthrough in hours, 
get your healing in hours hours dimension of miracle shout I receive it sit down why fire prayers you pray fire prayers when you realize I say there is a spiritual traffic jam meaning you will get there but you are being delayed does it make sense you know I will get there but something is delaying it have you been there you can tell this one is my miracle but keep doing it have you been there let me see your hand you can tell I have this one is my testimony like you just feel something is delaying it am I communicating if there is a traffic jam of such in the spirit that is when you are you engage what fire prayers why fire prayers you engage fire prayers when you sense there is a family evil cycle that is following your life. If you get hold of one pattern that is not godly, that keep following your life, you engage fire prayers. You engage what? Why fire prayers? When you sense there is an enemy putting a stop to your progress, Sometimes when I was a cause of Kujuani, I do him Gani. Like you know, I feel too kuna kitu can only suya. Have you been there? When I feel kuna two kitu in a kusuya, sometimes we do in nini. Like you know, I want to kuna kitu can only suya. Have you been there before? You engage fire prayers by the fire of God. Anything standing on my way, let it catch fire and burn. Let it be destroyed by the fire of God. Let it give way to my miracle. Let it give way to my testimony. Am I communicating here? I went to the hospital after the accident and the doctors told me, sir, we need to do an MRI. How do you call it? MRI. EO. On your head, on your chest. Uh, I told him, sir, I know what I'm feeling. Your work is, do, don't, don't, don't begin to confuse my faith here. You, you know, there is a way a doctor can talk to you until you lose faith, you lose hope, you get confused. Am I saying the truth? He will begin to tell you diseases with the terms you don't understand. Hey. Doctors will not forgive me today. But they will, they will still sow seed. Are you following what I'm saying? <laughs> A doctor, eh? Hey. You have immobile so that is it. You can't even write it. You can't even, you will go and Google the meaning. By the time you leave here, you go home, you are telling your wife, begin to pray. Put your house in order. This man is going. Bring me. Let me write it. The way those people told me the kind of sickness. When I googled the sickness, eh, this one is taking me to the grave. When I left the place, I was feeling pain, but my faith was stronger. I told God that I told you I can't die by accident, and I made a covenant by sacrifice. So I'm not going to listen to what doctors are saying. You know. You know. I have a covenant, and that's why I couldn't die. Are you following what I'm saying here? Yeah? Because when God remember his covenant with Moses, with Abraham, with Robert, am I, am I talking here? He will say, no, 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 hey, miss, miss, behave, 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 don't misbehave there. Behave. That man you are touching there is an anointed, there is a sacrifice of the altar. There is a way that we want to behave with your purpose when you apply for something. But the anointing and the sacrifice on the altar will tell that useless woman, don't misbehave with those papers. Don't misbehave with that name. If you try, you are calling your holy grave. Are you following what I'm saying here? But when you don't have anything on paper or on the altar, everything you have is only your name. The name that, that cannot ring a bell. Oh, you're not hearing me? Do you know we have a, there are some names in this country that can ring a bell? When you mention a bell or ring, oh, you're not here again. Yes, what I mean is this. There are names that can open door for you. Once you say, I am so and so, I am the daughter of. Oh, the, sorry, 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 ma. It's not you. The name you mentioned. They will make them to apologize. Are you following what I'm saying here? Now, that name you don't have. Serious prayers, you don't pray. Sacrifice on the altar, you don't have. In fact, that I can say, you are not serious. Are you following? You are not serious with yourself, with God, with everything. The devil will say, now this one. I told you last time there is a CV in the spirit. 
Before David confronted Goliath, he presented his CV. And he told Saul, don't look at me as a young man, sir. As you see me like this, I tear bear with my bare hands. I have a CV in the spirit. Don't see me like you see me like this. I brought down some Goliaths before. So this eunuch, I will show you what I can do with him. Do you have anything you can prove to the demons from your family? Tell them where I live in Nairobi. One witch wanted to kill me. He was buried in two weeks. That's the CV you need to have in the spirit. But even when they search you in the spirit in there, they can tell you are even level one you have. No, you don't have the, you know, they say five star general. You, are, you, are, you don't even have one star. They say, oh, hey, sit down. <laughs> you cannot talk where we are talking. In the realm of the demonic world, they have five star. In the realm of Christianity, you don't even have one. The man who will tell all the vijana pack a pant, pack a vest. Ah, you have not read. In the name of Jesus, a Paul is preaching. Say, hey, before you bring that Paul in Jesus here, where you talk, talk to me. Do it, introduce yourself. How many of our kind have you killed before? Today, some people will go for your sake. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. I said some people will go for your sake. Yeah. Sit down for a few minutes. Let me show you something. Why fire prayers? When you sense the blessings of God are diminishing from your life. Do you know there is a time you can feel blessings are diminishing? Kitambo liku na pata pesa anyhow. Umeanza kufika mahali ndio upate hata 10k you may struggle. Kuna muda mwai fika hapo. Kuna wakati pesa ilikuwa inaingia tu kwa mkono anyhow. Hello? Alafu kuna time imefika hiyo pesa unaipata umengangana. Have you been there before? When you sense kuna kungangana fulani si ya kawaida inakuingia, you engage what? Fire prayers. Are we together now? Are we together now? Why fire prayers? When you feel someone has scoop brains out of your children. Watoto wako walikuwa bright kwa shule. Well behaved. If you are here, you can look at your son or your daughter if they are around face to face. And check, is this one still having brain I born them with? Because Mama ako alikuwa mtu ako na akili babako wewe. Alafu na zamu toto ni kama si wewe umemza. Usha ona mtoto hata unamuangalia. Hata wewe unashanga. God, are you sure doctors are wako necheza? I'm telling the truth. Maybe I was not conscious. Because the way this child is behaving, myself, I, I do, I've never behaved like this. The father has not behaved like this. My family, they in my mother's side, my father's side, who scoop brain out of this one? You engage some fire prayers. I take back the brains. I take back the right behavior. I take back the life of my son. I take back the life of my daughter. I take back the things they took from them. In the name of Jesus. Mali ulizaliwa kuna mtu amewahi jibu mzazi na wewe watoto wako wanakujibu. In the name of school and social and society and social media. We control in the spirit realm. Life is spiritual. When you see something physically, don't say bad friends. Before bad friends, there is a spirit that attracts bad friends. I told God I am serving as a prophet. Don't allow my children to join a cult. Even when I am dead. I made a covenant by sacrifice. I know how pastors' children behave in alcohol and drugs. I only have two. God don't allow even one to misbehave. I prayed a prayer before. You know how painful it can be. When you are a man of God, people know you for church and your children are known for clubs. You can't preach to the neighbor or you are not hearing me again. You must engrave some fire. Prayer! Mtoto mwenye alikuwa meanza kujua kuandika before ende shule. Alikuwa naongea kisungu before ende shule. Mtoto alikuwa sharp. Even you as a mother, you are proud. You are saying now, this is a bone of my bone. This is a flesh of my flesh. Your 
Mbako na sanga Alienda kusoma Walienda kutoa akili Am I communicating to somebody here? Behavior Ujawai ona kwenu We must engage some fire prayer Oh somebody shout fire Somebody shout fire So you cannot pray fire prayers When you are not aggressive You must be angry in the spirit When something is not in order Am I talking? Kwenu mpaka wewe ulezaliwa Siata wewe ulezaliwa Alafu naambiwe iti kuna mutu kwenu awezi za No are you hearing me now? Hata wewe ulezaliwa Hata mwenye awezi za alezaliwa How come? Awezi za You must engage what? Fire prayers To burn anything that is blocking their systems Yuna ambiwa brother Hako kuna slow spam count Bibi yaka hizi shika mimba One of my cousins I was told eti wanatafuta mimi kama pasa nionge na one of my cousin mimi ananeza nishimu watafute wisdom eti waende walale na bibi ya one of my cousin wa msaidie kuza eti ni wewe peke yako aneza kuhishimu kwa sababu anakuogopa when my uncles approached me I looked at them and I saw a pattern that is going to be starting in our family that has never been there you are not hearing me again as a prophet I did not see what they are saying I saw beyond their words and I said, there is a prayer we'll do for him. And I called him in the house. I told him, remove your shoe. I said, Robert, let him laugh. But let me show him God. Are you following what I'm saying here? Even Anna, even Sarah, laughed outside the tent. But she still received a miracle. Even, even, even Naman, he doubted the prophet. But he still received a miracle. I told him, sir, remove your shirt. Remove your shoe. Fold your trouser. I brought water. I pour on the ground. I said, stand here on this. I said, the day this water will dry, that is the day your system will be healed. My mother called me and said, the wife is four months pregnant. My own first cousin, 54 years, with three women under his house, None of them is, is carrying a child. I told God I'm a prophet to my family. If anybody will not obey my voice, let my family see my God. Because the prophet is not respected at home until they see your God. People will not give you anything good until they see your God. And you just want to make noise. You are not, you are, you know, God show them God show your workplace people God show your cousins and brothers God show people what God and when someone want to do what switch your testimony or your glory I told you what is glory glory is the manifest presence of God what is glory? The manifest presence of God. Manifest. The presence of God made manifest. Anything you try to do, God's glory. Anything you try to do, the name, it was just under some dimensions of favor and glory. Are we together now? And then you realize now that order is changing. You are entering another dimension of pattern. You, it was not before like that. It's a new pattern that is working against you. Your glory is switching. You, you engage for your prayers. Now note these things down. Note these things down. With fire prayers, you must be militant in action and in prayer. With fire prayers, you must be militant in actions and in prayer. Is you maombi unaomba baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo umejua mimi ni mtoto wako na hata wewe unajua mimi nimeteseka no that's not fire prayer fire prayer you must be like a military person both in your actions and in your words you i told you friday you must know how to place your words correctly it's not just you just don't talk anyhow you talk you give orders in the spirit are we together here in discipline forces you obey and you complain later in theocracy, you obey and complain later. In the Christian dom, you obey and complain later. 
in this dimension of prayer, you order. I command. Elisha came and said, by this time tomorrow, the price of wheat and barley shall reduce to so so shekel. And even the king doubted the prophet. And he said, because you have doubted, you will see, but you will not enjoy. You see those levels? And you don't care what will happen. You declare and you get out. Are you following what I'm saying here? For it is he that confirms and performs the word of his servant, the prophet. Once you say it, you get out. You are done. When Elijah prayed this prayer, it was not ordinary fire that fell. It was Yahweh himself that fell. Because a normal fire cannot burn stones. A normal fire cannot burn water. Because water quenches fire. A normal fire could not burn everything. It was God himself who descended and landed on the altar. And for himself is that fire that consumes everything. And that's why the Bible says, and everything was leaked. There's a prayer we are going to pray tonight. Two or three prayers. Dangerous prayers. When we are praying, please be serious. Are we in agreement here? Fire prayers bring revolution and transformation. Fire prayers bring revolution, transformation, and reformation. Fire prayers brings revolution, transformation, and reformation. So when you pray fire prayers, things are revolved. Things are transformed. Things are reformed. Fire prayers will position you to enter your breakthrough. When Moses was receiving ten commandments, the Bible says, and fire came and covered the whole mountain. Fire came and did what? Covered the whole mountain. Do you know why? Because the one that was coming to give him the commandment was fire himself. So people thought it was normal fire that came. It was God himself. And when God lands, when children of Israel wanted to go to, say, Moses, go and tell him, you want him to talk to us. They didn't know the man they are calling was fire. The Bible says, when his presence